Hello, I'm Hiroko Ida, a weather forecaster. I'm here now at Tokyo Bay. Did you know that there are 20 floodgates in this area? They are protecting the mega city of Tokyo from storm surges. They are designed to withstand storm surges of up to 4 meters. But if global warming continues at its present pace, there's a possibility that even these floodgates won't be able to protect Tokyo. According to a new report, World scientists say that by 2100, sea levels could rise up to 82 centimeters. Other researchers have also shown that ice in Antarctica and Greenland is rapidly melting. It's possible that by 2050, sea levels could rise by 60 centimeters. You may think it's not so much, but even it could threaten our lives. Hurricane Sandy and Super Typhoon Haiyan taught us an important lesson. A sea level rise of only dozens of centimeters can greatly increase the power of a storm surge. Tokyo Bay demands some special attention. When Japan's economy was booming, a large amount of underground water was pumped out. As a result, some of the land in Tokyo's Koto Ward has sunk up to five meters. Right now, about 120 square kilometers of land is below sea level. If the sea levels rise by 60 centimeters, that area will increase by one and a half times. The Great East Japan earthquake also caused ground liquefaction. This made the reclaimed land around Tokyo Bay sink up to 70 centimeters. There are many old chemical complexes in this area. The super typhoons caused by global warming will create powerful storm surges. They could cause serious fires at these sites. Researchers at Waseda University say that total damage of Tokyo Bay could be close to $700 billion. According to the governmental projection, 1.4 million people would suffer damage from the storm surges. 7,600 people would be killed. The area would be flooded by five meters of water, stranding people for over two weeks in worst case. In September this year, heavy rains caused terrible damage in areas northeast of Tokyo. Violent waters tore down river embankments with an almost unimaginable ferocity. Water vapors increases with global warming, so these kind of record-breaking rainfalls are more likely to occur in the future. The storm surges that are followed as destructive as tsunamis and could cause unprecedented flooding. From here on, the entire country will face a growing threat from storm surges. Japan's coast will be eaten away. There's another shocking forecast. By 2100, 91% of Japan's beaches will disappear because of the 80 centimeter rise in sea levels. Miho no Matsubara is a World Heritage Site, but the coast is already being eroded. Unless countermeasures are taken, the beautiful beach and the wonderful view of Mount Fuji will be gone forever. What I've reported is about the damage that would be caused by climate change if CO2 emissions continue at the present rate. What should we do to minimize this potential damage and protect our safe and affluent lives? Starting on November 30th this year, the COP21 United Nations Conference of Climate Change will be held in Paris. In an international code production, NHK World will broadcast a special program on this issue. We'll focus on important mega cities that are facing the threats of flooding and storm surges. New York, Shanghai, Bangkok, and Tokyo. Top scientists will explain the possible risks these cities face the latest countermeasures against them. We are at a turning point that will decide the future of the planet. Let's all consider what climate change may bring. UNESCO World Heritage Sites provide testimony to evolutions in our climate and our societies. 
They are milestones in human history, and some of them are already deeply affected by the negative impact of climate change. This challenge is not insurmountable. Across the world, women and men are designing new sustainable practices and sharing knowledge to better manage sites and resources. Innovative solutions are emerging, rooted in local situations that build on cultural diversity, on local traditions and experiences. This diversity is humanity's ultimate renewable energy, and I'm convinced we must make the most of it to invent new approaches to development. World Heritage shows what we can achieve when we join forces for an ideal. Each of us has a role to play in combating climate change to transmit to future generations the heritage we hold in common.